but she just slid past that past that whole little topic that she said she only did spent like what 30 seconds 45 seconds on that whole little uh what she said and you know kept it pushing this one triggered me <laughs> When I was still in high school, I was so desperate for male validation and attention. I used to have a thing with this boy and he used to call me the n-word and I just let him. Not only did he call me the n-word, but he wanted me to call him my master as a term of endearment and I did. He would be like, what's up my little n-word or my little slave baby? And I'd be like, hey, master. Unsurprisingly, it turned out he never liked me and I was just an inside joke between his friends. When I was in- Hey, 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 I'm back again. I got one more to give y'all. This one is disturbing to me. Um, I caught this TikTok. Um, actually, I saw it on, uh, what is his name? Brother Tariq, Tariq Nasheed. He had her TikTok on and I'll play it before before I talk about it so you'll know what I'm talking about um, and I went back to TikTok and found her and so she was doing like a get ready with me or she's putting on makeup and this was just one of the things that she was talking about I guess she was you know just having conversation while she was putting on makeup but she just slid past that past that whole little topic that she said she only did spent like what 30 seconds 45 seconds on that whole little uh what she said and you know kept it pushing this one triggered me <laughs> this one kind of triggered me because i'm like what the what so young lady you know bless your heart first off I'm not here to bash i'm only here to give my opinion um but like I said, I was triggered by what she said. And I'm just gonna go back to just like I was talking about with um, baby girl, the therapist. We need to start talking to our kids. We need to start being more involved in our kids' everyday life. She said that happened to her when she was in high school. She was very vulnerable, probably she sounded very insecure but also from my perspective she felt to allow someone to say that to her you felt inferior not only insecure about your looks but also inferior right um and i say that what do i mean by that i mean by i've dated outside of my um my race right i've pretty much dated you know different nationalities different eth ethnical backgrounds uh, in my lifetime before you know I settled down but at no point and I've dated persuasion I call Caucasians persuasion so I've dated persuasion at no point at no point have I ever has any man ever uh, spoken to me that way there was a level of you know there I ne I've never been um, verbally assaulted like that verbally you know uh, how can I even say that it's, I'm triggered by this I've never been talked to in that way by any man of any other ethnic background not even in you know not a black man not a white man not a you know Hispanic man nothing to be called you know I want you to call me a uh, master called her the n-word called her his little slave baby and she responded to it we gotta start talking to our kids you know I <laughs> you you she has a level of like I said she's not only um, feeling inferior she feels inferior you know 
she felt that that was okay. She didn't even, it didn't even trigger her. It didn't even dawn on her that that was degrading, that that was demeaning to have anybody call you a slave baby, a little, you know, she he might as well just call it a little porch monkey. You know what I'm saying? She, she, she did not get it. And she was continuing to let this man do this to her, this boy do this to her. She only figured out that it was demeaning when she found out that, you know, he was just doing that. She was like the, it was an inside joke. She was, you know, she was being utilized as a, as a, as a joke, a racial joke, a racial epithet. You know, she did not understand that. And how, as a woman of color, melanated, do you not understand that that is not a term of endearment? That is not romantic. I saw another, um, I saw another video, Abba and Preach did, um, and this man, this black dude, he's dating, he's like 20 something years old and he's dating, I'm digressing a little bit, but he's dating this, um, 60 something year old white woman and he even had a nerd to say that he um doesn't mind he wanted to play uh massa and slay what the hell is wrong with these these young people this is some weird ish okay this is some weird ish i gotta i'm about to place an order let me pause this okay i'm back so yeah this, what's wrong with uh our youth um I think there is a level of we're not talking like we used to I don't know if it's you know the way the world is today you know how people say I don't see color you know I don't when I see people I don't see color I I feel different about that because I do see color and I don't mean that in a negative way and in a negative uh tone I don't mean that to be negative I do see color and I don't mind seeing color because we are different colors. We are different ethnicities. We all have, we have different backgrounds. We come from different uh, periods of time, portions of life, you know, different, you know, living conditions. So to see, to say that you don't see color, saying that you don't see anything eccentric or different about someone when there are things that are different. Um, and you, it's not about not seeing it. It's about appreciating it, understanding it, and still showing a level of respect for it. I can still see you, uh, and you be persuasion and, you know, how you grew up and, you know, what you did and, you know, understand that and, and understand that you are persuasion and still in the same act, in the same retrospect, you can see me and we can still get along, but you know, I'm still me, my, you know, the way I grew up and, you know, the things that I believe and the beliefs that I have and, you know, the things that I, uh, relate to is me and that should be okay. We shouldn't all just be one big old, be, be the same. That's not how we were created. We were all created different. You know, we were all, if, if we were supposed to be created the same, then God would have made us all, you know, the same, whatever it was going to be. But we were all made different. We were all made in his image, but we were all made different. We were all born in different, you know, different uh, places, uh, different spaces, you know. So I, I don't like when um, this generation that they're so like caught up in not seeing color, not um, wanting to acknowledge the differences of us uh, in us. And there's nothing wrong with the differences. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with the differences in order, but for you, you have to see the differences to understand that sometimes people may utilize your difference and disrespect you. And because she doesn't see, I think that she didn't, it was never taught to her. You know what I'm saying? She didn't see the beauty in herself. She didn't respect herself that she allowed this little boy to say that about her. And she felt no ways. She didn't even realize that this man was disrespecting her to the umpteenth level, you know. And I feel, I feel bad for her. But I see that, you know, I'm hoping she's doing better. Um, pretty young girl, very intelligent. She has a, you know, pretty big TikTok. Um, hopefully, she's learned from it. I didn't get. She didn't. She kind of like just 
went past it but she didn't really you know talk about you know what she learned from that so i hope she learned something from this uh to never allow that to happen to her again but yeah that just triggered me that was a little bit disturbing that um that young girl and i know it's, she ain't the only one and that's why i'm saying we need to talk to our children because you don't know what your children are learning you don't know what your how your children think you know just because they grew up in a black home don't mean that they know what they blackness means don't mean, know that don't they don't know you know what comes with that the respect that they should have for themselves you know the certain things that you should you should never allow anyone to disrespect you like that in that manner but i digress what do you guys think um let me know in the comments do you feel that you know she you know it was okay i know most of y'all gonna say that ain't okay but do you feel that you know she should you know her parents are her parents responsible for you know her not knowing this stuff let me know in the comments like i said like me don't like me it's whatever i do not take offense all right you guys bye